Om Namah Shivaya students. In this video, I have uploaded the main points and the textual questions of the play on the face of it. I'll first read out the main points. You will write down the main points in your English literature copy. On the face of it, main points. The play depicts beautifully yet grimly the sad world of the physically impaired. It is not the actual pain or inconvenience caused by a physical impairment that trouble a disabled man but the attitude of the people around him. Two physically impaired people, Mr. Lamb with a tin leg and Derry with a burnt face, strike a band of friendship. Derry is described as a young boy, shy, withdrawn and defiant. People tell him inspiring stories to console him. Mr. Lamb revives the almost dead feelings of Derry towards life. He motivates him to think positively about life, changes his mindset about people and things. The gate of the garden remains always open. Derry is inspired and he promises to come back. Derry's mother stops him but he is adamant saying if he does not go now it would be never. When he returns back, he sees Lamb lying on the ground. It is ironical that when Derry searches a new foothold to live happily, he finds Mr. Lamb dead. In this way, the play depicts the heart-rendering life of physically disabled people and their loneliness, aloofness and alienation. These are the main points of this play. You will write down the main points first in your English literature copy. Now, I will discuss the textual questions. Question number one. Who is Mr. Lamb? How does Jerry get into his garden? The points are. Mr. Lamb is an old man with a tin leg. His real leg was blown off years ago during the war. He lives all alone in his house. There is a garden near the house. Derry climbs over the garden wall to get into his garden. Though the gate was open, the boy does not use it. Question number two. Do you think all this will change Derry's attitude towards Mr. Lamb? The points are, Mr. Lamb learns from Jerry that the latter does not like being near people. They stare at his face and feel afraid of him as half of it has been burnt by acid and looks very ugly. Mr. Lamb offers him a new way of thinking. Jerry finds that the old man says peculiar things. He is further surprised to learn about the old man's habits. The old man tells him that he has all the God-given organs. He will get on the way if he wants like the rest. He could even get on better than them if he made a firm decision. He tells Jerry that hatred is worse than acid. He should not worry about his burned face or what people say about it. All this brings a positive change in Derry's attitude towards Mr. Lamb. Reading with insight, question number one. What is it that draws Derry towards Mr. Lamb in spite of himself? The points are. Both Derry and Mr. Lamb suffer from physical impairment. Derry has one side of his face disfigured and burnt by acid. The old man has a tin leg because his real leg got blown off during the war. Apart from these physical disabilities, Derry finds signs of loneliness and disappointment in Mr. Lamb's life. The old man tries to overcome these feelings but the sense of alienation 
felt by him is more painful than the pain caused by physical disability. Derry tries to avoid meeting people because they consider his face frightful and ugly. They avoid him as they are afraid of him. His parents seem worried about him and talk about him and his future. Mr. Lamb provides him a new approach to things. He tells him to see, hear, feel and think about things around him. He should not hate others. Hatred is worse than acid. He has all the God-given limbs. He must take a firm decision and work towards it. He will succeed. He should not be afraid of people and they will not be afraid of him. All these factors draw Derry towards Mr. Lamb. Question number two. In which section of the play does Mr. Lamb display signs of loneliness and disappointment? This question you have to write on your own. You will read the text well and you will find out the section of the play where Mr. Lamb displays signs of loneliness and disappointment. What are the ways in which Mr. Lamb tries to overcome these feelings? The points are, Mr. Lamb believed there are plenty of things to look at. Some of them are his crab apples or the weeds or a spider climbing up a silken ladder or his tall sunflowers. He also likes to talk and have a company. He has a hive of bees. He hears them singing. He sits in the sun and reads books. He likes the light and the darkness. He hears the wind coming through open windows. There aren't any curtains at the windows as they either shut things out or shut things in. These are the ways in which Mr. Lamb tries to overcome his loneliness. Question number three. The actual pain or inconvenience caused by a physical impairment is often much less than the sense of alienation felt by the person with disabilities. What is the kind of behavior that the person expects from others? The play on the face of it focuses our attention on the physical pain and mental anguish of the person suffering from some physical impairment. The playwright Susan Hill presents the two leading characters, an old man and a small boy having different sorts of physical disabilities. It is clear that the sense of alienation that these disabled persons feel causes them constant pain. Such persons expect kind and considerate behavior from others. They do not want tears, sympathy or pity. They dislike being pointed at, nicknamed, mocked at or made a fun of. They only demand a reasonable behavior from others. Question number four. Will Derry get back to his old seclusion or will Mr. Lamb's brief association affect a change in the kind of life he will lead in the future? The points are, Derry will not get back to his old seclusion. He has been associated with Mr. Lamb for a short time only, but even this brief association will affect a change in the kind of life he will lead in future. Instead of being conscious of what people comment about the ugliness of his face, he will use his head and heart to achieve what he decides to do in life. It is also possible that with his firm determination and zeal to achieve his aim, he might do better than the rest, even those who do not suffer from any physical impairment. By his persuasive manner and skillful use of anecdotes, Mr. Lamb, convinces Jerry that a life of seclusion and withdrawal from the world is dull as well as risky. The world has many beautiful objects to see and admire, sounds to hear and ideas to think. One should have an open mind and positive attitude. Jerry's mother tries her best to keep Jerry with her. But Jerry resolves to go back to Mr. Lamb to look at things and listen to him. He no longer cares about his face. What he thinks and feels and what he wants to see and find out and hear is more important. 
Gary declares that if he does not go back then, he will never go anywhere in the world again. In short, Gary's coming back to Mr. Lamb is indicative of the change in the kind of life he is likely to lead in future. The spelling of life is wrong over here. It is F-I-F-E. It will be L-I-F-E. In the last point, as you can see, the spelling of life is wrong over here. It will be L-I-F-E, life, and not F-I-F-E. Okay? So, for all these questions, I have given certain points. You will refer to these points. You will read the text well, and you will write complete answers in your English literature copy. You will simply not just copy the points. I am again repeating. You will refer to these points. You will read the text well and then you will write complete answers in your English literature copy. In the next video, I will upload few extra questions from this play. Till then, thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.